good morning children of class 5 today i am going to take page 3 from your exercise last time you did page 2 okay but i stopped in page 3 because i was not definite whether you all know uh, preposition properly so i revised preposition now i don't know whether you all know adverbs properly because there are uh, so many adverbs uh, different kinds of adverbs if you don't know that then i think you cannot do this exercise anyway adverb of manner adverb of place adverb of time adverb of number adverb of degree and interrogative adverb there are so many there are six adverbs i don't know whether you all have uh, know it anyway if you all don't know then i would like to uh, revise your adverb too because uh, now here in this parts of speech uh, in parts of speech you are thorough with a noun you are thorough with verb okay now i know you know that with pronoun also you are thorough with it you know completely adjective also i think you all know anyway when i come to it i'll see adverb i don't know preposition i have revised with you all so i would like to do adverb also but let me do it today let me see if you all don't know just give me a call and tell me ki i you have to revise adverb or not okay now coming back to page number 3 identify the verbs adverbs and preposition and write them in the columns now verbs is a doing word adverb is a supporting understood what is an adverb adverb that describes the verb it tells something about the verb like he ran how did he run slowly so it is telling about the verb theek hai kichu korar je korche dorache ke rokom dorache ota adverb bolche did you understand now preposition you know that it makes the sentence pure it makes you understand okay preposition it is uh, shows the relationship between the noun and the pronoun noun and the pronoun means it is making the sentence clear now the boy lay on the bed lazily the boy lay on the bed lazily that cheleta bichna upre alosh kore ghumalo whatever it is the boy lay on the bed lazily the boy lay ki korlo chele lay to ki korlo eta verb on the bed lazily ke rokom ke rokom ghumiye porlo bed upre lazily to eta le upre le mane ghumalo ke rokom ghumalo lazily to le hocche verb और ओके स्पष्ट करारे कम लेजिली हलो दैट इज कल्ड एडवर्ब डिड यू अल अंडारस्टैंड ओके नाउ दिस टू यू गट यू गट वन वर्ब ले एंड लेजिली इज एन एडवर्ब नाउ ऑन द बेड द बॉय ले द बेड लेजिली इफ आई से दैट द इंग्लिश इज नॉट प्रॉपर सो प्रेपोजिशन इज मेकिंग इन प्रॉपर दैट इज इन नॉन अंडर अबाउ बिसाइड यू ऑल नो दैट सो ऑन इज य प्रेपोजिशन now the fishermen were busy during the day the fisherman fisherman is a non noun there's nothing like that so here um, busy okay uh, busy is a kind of verb because they are so busy they are doing something so busy you can write uh, in the verb because busy is doing something your reading your cooking or something that you are busy with okay during the day here you don't have mm, uh, during you can say it will be a preposition a type of preposition because during is not written alone after during the sentence is not completing it is continuing with a noun day day is a noun so it is continuing with a noun so if you take it during is a preposition okay now they waited for the train eagerly they waited what did they do ki korlo ra apekkha korlo waited kichu koreche tar mane waited hocche verb okay ki rokom waited korlo otai sposhto koro tar pore preposition ashbe ki rokom waiting korlo eagerly mane khub eagerly means uh, what to say eagerly i can't explain in bengali eagerly they waited okay theek hai now impatiently that is eagerly means when they come kokhon ashbe kokhon ashbe ei rokom kor eagerly they were waiting okay now so waited eagerly waited hocche verb eagerly hocche adverb now preposition ta ki hobe they waited the train eagerly they waited the train eagerly for is giving a proper english there preposition 
the principal's office is on the third floor now here principal's office theek hai so the principal's office is on the third floor what is the verb here ekhane to kichu hocche na hmm now what is the adverb kerukum hocche eta bi hocche na no verb is here and it is not describing the verb also so only one is there preposition on did you understand now swati made a big poster to put on the board now swati ki korlo kichu koreche made banalo तो मेड विल बिकम वर्ब ठीक है के रकम बना लो अच्छे एखेने हाउ इट इज मेड इट इज नॉट देर सो वी आर गोइंग टू लीव द एडवर्ब एडवर्ब ऐड दो बना लो के रकम बना लो करलो के रकम कर लो देन यू कैन डिवाइड इट वर्ब एंड एडवर्ब बट एखे बना लो कि के रकम बना लो इट्स नॉट गिवेन सो लीव इट ऑफ स्वाति मेड अ बिग पोस्टर मेड विल बिकम वर्ब एट टू will become preposition put on will become again preposition so made will become verb to will become a uh, preposition and on will also become preposition did you understand now come into the room after you keep your bags outside now come asho kichu korar that is come you are coming you are coming there into into will become preposition the room come the room means not proper english so into is putting up your thing there to make a english so a preposition will be into after you keep after will become before after beside behind all is preposition so after will become preposition you keep your bag outside now keep is what keep rakho mane verb rakho mane verb outside did you understand now if you have learnt it outside will become adverb of place okay if you have learnt adverb of time adverb of place and all so adverb of uh, place will become outside if you want you can write now rehman plays the flute now rehman is a noun proper noun we can don't want plays he is playing a flute flute mane basuri bajacche ki rokom bajacche deya nei तो ड़े दो एडव बजा दिखे कि दैट इज प्ले ठीक है प्रेपोजिशन इज अल्सो नट देर प्रेपोजिशन कि छोट सेंटेंस मध्य शेष और एक सेंटेंस कि बुझान जन और मध्य नहीं सो प्रेपोजिशन इज नट देर ना रेहमान हरिश इज इन हिज रूम अपस्टेस हरिश इज एन प्रपर नाउन डोट वॉन्ट इज इन इन ऑन अंडर एवरीथिंग इज preposition so in his room upstairs that is upstairs is what adverb of place okay upstairs will be adverb of place so you can write upstairs adverb now the rain poured heavily the short sentence is there the rain bishti ta khub jore hochilo bishti hochilo hocche ekta verb कम हो जोरे तो इट उल बी हेविली तो पोर्ड पोर्ड मान पड़े बिस्टि पड़े खूब बसी हेविली बसी तो पड़े इज दैट पोर्ड उल बी योर वर्ब हाउ इट उल बी हेविली डिड यू अंडारस्टैंड हाउ सो वर्ब उल बी पोर्ड एड वर्ब उल बी हेविली there is no preposition because the sentence is very short it is explained in that the cat slept on the couch comfortably what did the cat do pillar ta ki korlo ghumalo to slept will become kichu korar verb on will become preposition the couch comfortably ke rokom ghumalo comfortably adverb did you all understand now that lesson now do it for homework and if you want to revise adverb once more you are not thorough with it please give me a call and let me know then the next class we will do adverb of time manner and everything did you all understand children now i want to do parts of speech very perfectly well i want to do with you solid whatever you learn learn solid don't give take half of knowledge you should be thorough don't buy heart mugusto korbe na grammar mugusto jinish nei bujhar jinish तो लाइफ लंग तुम्हारे मन थक डिड यू अंडारस्टैंड नाउ डू इट 
do the homework i have explained how it is listen to my video once close uh, this copy down the thing from the pdf and do it okay thank you